So, hello friends, hope all of you are doing well. And uh, today afternoon, Canada asked me, uh, Sir, uh, this accounting and technology, I uh, I completed almost all the chapters, but accounting and technology, even on exam day, I don't know how I'm going to revise. I'm just bothering me, sir. What exactly can I do? Absolutely no worries. Here you are. Within 15 to 20 minutes, you'll be able to brush up the entire topic. Do watch of this and do make use of it. So let's quickly get going. So, so a couple of similar shortcuts I have connected it, and the remaining questions I have shared. So once you check this out, parallelly complete the other questions also. Only two more or three more topics are pending. I'm sure this is going to be very handy for you at the end hour. So do check it out. First one is what are the benefits of cloud computing? So when you move to the systems automatically everything will go rise will go for rise that is you get benefited in all those aspects so what is rise so r for reduced cost i for increased scalability and i for improved accessibility another i for improved reporting and analytics then we move on to the s streamline 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 you have to streamline this is the time to streamline streamlined collaboration and enhanced security so this is the rise so another place where we are using rise is key impacts of blockchain on financial reporting so r for real-time financial reporting there r was for reduced cost here it's real-time financial reporting i for improved data integrity then simplified reconciliation streamlined there it was streamlined collaboration here it's streamlined audit process nothing but streamlined ca ca means collaboration audit process E for enhanced transparency, E for enhanced security, and another E for enhanced audit trail. So that's it. Benefits of cloud computing, impacts of blockchain and financial reporting. Within one minute, you have risen up. That is rise. So moving on to the next question. Explain the briefly the benefits of artificial language and machine language when used in accounting. So when these two are combined, those any candidates who knows these things automatically their checks, they will be receiving fat paychecks. I repeat, fat paychecks. So what is fat? F for fraud detection, A for financial forecasting, A for automated data entry, another A for accounting automation, and D for tax compliance. As simple as that. What is the question? Benefits of AI and ML when used in accounting. It's fat. Fraud detection, financial forecasting, automated data entry, accounting automation, and tax compliance. So next last question. I explain the benefits of automated process. That is uh, safe. I already shared this in a previous video, but just briefing on again for you. Streamlined. What are the very streamlined? We saw streamlined collaboration, streamlined audit process. Now it's streamlined data entry. Savings in time and money. Accelerating data processing. Facilitating complaints and enhancing accuracy. And lastly, improved decision making. Previously, we saw enhanced transparency, enhanced security, and enhanced audit trail. Here it is, enhancing accuracy. So last question, explain briefly the proactive measures to mitigate cyber security risk. What are the proactive measures to mitigate cyber security risk? Sir, what is the shortcut? How can I remember all the points? Shortcut is need IP access control. I repeat, need IP access control. N for network security, E for encryption, E for employee training, and D for data backup. So D for data backup. And lastly, I for incidents response planning, and P for password management. And lastly, access control. What is the question, sir? What is the question? Proactive measures to mitigate cyber security risk. Need IP access control, network security, encryption, employee training, and data backup. Up. Lastly, incident response planning and password management. I hope you found this discussion very useful. A lot of this is a very difficult. Without having a proper control, it's difficult to remember these things. Now, invest at least another 15 minutes. Go through the key terminologies inside the side headings, and there is no way you're going to lose any single mark on this. So, invest maximum one hour, including this. So, I hope you found this discussion useful. Best vision. Have a fantastic time. Okay.